good morning guys and welcome back to my channel how are you people doing this morning oh my god i can't believe i'm starting a vlog like this like i cannot believe it at all as i'm talking to you people right now i'm i slept on this couch see my pillow see my blanket i actually used two blankets i slept here i've been trying to edit a video for the past two days now this morning i'll be cooking soup i'll be cooking stew so like i said this is a series of me preparing for this pregnancy okay and usually before i have a baby i like to cook soup and stew package on a fridge like put everything in the freezer so that two weeks after i have the baby i will not cook anything and that's another reason i miss texas if it was in texas now ishi chagodi ya pack ya my this is my wonderful, incredible sister-in-law who still cook a certain types of soup. As in, she will cook my own, cook my husband's own, and still bring for us. Honestly, having nice people around you is the most, as a, is the is the best thing you can ever pray for. Having wonderful people around you. My sister-in-law, she lives in Texas right now. Yeah, she. I don't even know. I'm going to miss her during this pregnancy. Like she'll just cook this native soup for my husband and then cook me like either a goosey or eat the soup and just bring it like not small, not one plate. Okay, she do it, she do it. she'll bring it and she'll come with her mother. Her mother will come and do me or more go with her son and then she will come with yam and stuff and come and cook pepper soup for me before she will go. Until you get you, honestly. <laughs> I will miss you during this pregnancy. <laughs> oh my God. But I'll nah, just carry my bag and go back to Texas. Go to her house and go and have this baby. <laughs> I'll go to her house and go and have this baby. But yes, guys. Uh, today I'll be cooking soup. I want to cook a day soup. I don't have soup at all like in the fridge. Then I'll be cooking stew as well. But I want to go outside and show you people something. It's just I don't even know if I say it's cute, beautiful. I don't know exactly how to how to analyze what I'm seeing outside. Here, yeah, say hi. Say good morning. In a hatch like a maybe say good morning. See her finger. Say subscribe. <laughs> say subscribe. I beg if it is your first time here, subscribe to our channel. Oh no, please. I'm ca I carry God, beg you, okay? Subscribe and be a part of this family. But let's go outside. I'll shape up something. Do you? Stay here, okay? So just in case you're wondering, we live in Hanford, okay? And Hanford is like Valley of California. Valley of California. So it gets foggy around here. I don't know what causes the fog as a, I'm not into geography here to understand the thing about all of these things. But one thing I hate about this place is this place stinks. This Hanford stinks because there's a lot of farm around here. There's a lot of like when I mean farm. As if Anna, oh, as if Anna Azume, Wuma, Toro, goats, cow, horses, everything you can ever think of. And then lots of lands where they are planting a lot of things. So they get all of this um, poop from the animals and then they use it to feed the plants, which is actually a good recycling system. But in the air, the place is not bad. But I don't know, I don't understand the chemistry. I don't know. The chemistry behind all of this fog. This is the first time I'm seeing a huge fog. So in Dubai, our mates are getting snow for winter. We are getting fog for winter. But yeah, still like that is still cute. Look at this kitty cat. <laughs> this cat is always by the window looking at me. I can't show you people the cat, sure. <sighs> but yeah. But it's not that cold. It's cold though, but it's not that cold because I'm I'm not wearing a jacket and I'm still able to stay outside here. Uh, like you can't even drive oh my god you can't even drive in this fog there will be lots and lots of accidents if you do 
Well, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you people. Look at that. Oh, let me enter inside because my breast is becoming cold. Oh my god. So, I brought out my goat meat. I'm going, I'm going to be cooking a, a big pot of soup and stew. So, I brought out four bags of goat meat. And the goat meat has not been cut already. It has not been cut. So, I'll be cutting them myself. Then, I also bought this thing. I also bought this um, snail meat. So this thing is like, is like, they call it a wild snail. Okay, it's the type of snail. Like if you don't have it, you can also just buy this one. It's, it's cheap. So I bought this for them. I'll be using to cook the egg soup. And then I bought my egg there as well. I bought my egg there as well. I was able to shit all the tomatoes for this stew last night. This is the tomatoes. I shit them here last night with um um a bunch of stuff. So I'll be using it to cook. Oh, are you okay? So give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> See your face. Here you go. Take this. This is a toy. Take this one. You will not. Uh. Hey, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Shh. Shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Here you go. Say thank you. No, this she can again. So guys, sorry about the noise. I can't turn it off. Like I said. But look at the time, this is 3.50 p.m. okay? And I'm still here. I'm actually making progress. So this is the goat meat for the stew. I'm cooking the goat meat here. I'm cooking my ede here. I'll be cooking the soup like I already said. And I already cooked um, the stock fish and the goat meat for the soup. For the ede soup. So, I'm thinking of... I was watching Fantastic Fable this afternoon and I got inspired so I'm thinking of instead of just cook, using this to cook um, edes soup okay I want to also cook a goosey soup so right here I have my fish here I don't know their names I have fish I have fish they're different fish and this is my goosey yeah I think I want to cook some edes um, and goosey soup this is my tomato I want to cook um, a goosey soup to add to it. Even if I will just cook it with this pot, so like even if it is two cups of a goosey, I'll cook it with this pot so that after I have the baby, as on my husband can still be as on the, he, he will have different types of soup to eat. You understand? Like a goosey or one, he will have a goosey and egg a soup to eat. So I'm going to, and I have a lot of fish in here, so I think I'm going to start cooking the goosey soup right now. Soup, yeah. that is why I don't get this soup all the time. But let's see how this one comes out, okay? Manu will break it, but you're just in case. So, let's check this out. I know every time, but I'll tell you, people I don't know how to cook, eh? and then I will cook, and the food will become amazing. In my head, the kind of packaging does not want me to be distressed on this YouTube street. I swear to God, look at this soup. You know, see, I'm looking through the I'm through my screen watching Sister Flo watching Fantastic Famous Oh, Ophel Korodachi, look at that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And it tastes good. It tastes so good. So you put look at that. The things that are burning. I have to transfer it from this pot to this pot so that it will have enough space. So I ended up I'll be using Onubo for it. Some barium meal. I don't like my soup to have too much onubo and come and be that. So I'm just using very little 
for Nubu. So while that is cooking, let me go ahead and pound this this um ede before you just show you. Yeah, my husband just came back. He said this meat will not be enough for the stew. So I might add some of it to the soup and then cook more meat for the stew. So I'm guessing this stew is going to be the last one I'm cooking tonight. Oh yeah, I'm so proud of myself. Look at that. Hey, baby, I'll come. I see I'm pete. Can't get you with traditional marriage. Who is getting married this Saturday? Oh my God. Me what? Today is Friday, guys. I'm so damn proud of myself, baby. And I wasn't I wasn't thinking that the soup would be this big. What is it, baby? What is it? Say hi. Say hi. I wasn't hoping that the soup would be this big, so I might as well add um, more um, stock fish and meat to it. So I'm going to be taking some from here. I already added my age and stuff like that. I'll take more meat from here to add here so that the soup will last. And this all gets one bowl of and this all gets one bowl of soup from the freezer. And then I hope to get two bowls of the soup from here. So guys, this is the final result of my ecosy soup. As in, it still tastes yummy. But let me not blow my trumpet yet. Oh, I did play one and no along the line. But it looks so good. Look at that. Look at the face. It looks so good. Let me go ahead and dish for my husband and my children. Oh, my mother. I don't know if I should add more water to it. But my husband said it's okay like this. Do you want to take a break? Look at that. What do you guys think? Did I do a good job? Oh, I'm getting off one. Yeah. So I'm going to dish that one out. So this is the soup and this is the food. I'm going to dish it out. I'm going to dish this into a bowl so that I can start cooking this one. But yeah, at least I'm done with one soup. Look at the face. Look at the face. Does it look good? Big up one. I will test it later behind the camera. <laughs> So that you don't judge the soup based on the reaction of my face. But if it is sweet, I will let you know. If it is not sweet, I will also let you know. You know, I'm not like, I don't lie. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? So, guys, my little soup is ready. So, should I make a little soup or eat the soup? <laughs> my little baby and the little is ready. There's something I want to say about this soup. So the last time I cooked this soup, I added um, this um, um, ogiro mayo in it. I do not like the taste at all. Like every time I finish eating, I feel like I needed to eat orange. It had this taste that I do not like. like so this time around, I decided I won't be adding ogiro to it. I don't like the aftertaste. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the light. And that will be it for the soup. Once it's cold, I will dish it out. While it's cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and cut and prepare meat for the stew. Because every other thing for the stew is where they save the meat. I'll cut and do that. I'll be using this pot to cook the soup. So I'm going to take out the soup from the pot. I'm going to transfer it like right over. What do you probably think of the color and the beauty of the soup? I zoomed in so that you will leak your screen, okay? <laughs> Yeah. Hey guys, so the time is 1.52 a.m. in the morning and I just finished cooking this stew now. Look at that. So like I said, or maybe I've not said it before, so what I was doing is if I cook, if I finish one, I would take like I would rest maybe an hour, two hours or so, like take a, a long break relax stretch myself and then i'll come back and start cooking but yeah i just finished cooking this stew i was so tired i couldn't show you people how i was cooking this stew but honestly i swear to the god of stews this one smells so good i've not tasted it i don't know how it would taste with rice you know how stew tastes with when you put it in your hand 
is separate from how it tastes with rice and it's too late for me to use rice and taste it but I can barely stand I just want to like show you people what this tea is about and show you people how much stuff I got today and then I will end this video so this is one bowl of steam okay this one I'll be going out with it tomorrow together with this soup I'll be going out with it tomorrow so the onubu soup I got three bowls of onubu soup one two three and then this is a goose soup and then over here is this stew for ourselves yeah. there's not enough meat in this t-shirt maybe i'll cut some more goat meat and add it to it later oh yeah that is it so guys i'm just going to go lay down back like sit down on the couch because I need these things to cool down so I can put them in the freezer because I need them to be frozen for me to take it to where I'll be taking it to tomorrow and then the other ones I'll be putting in the freezer for ourselves. so yeah this is I'm back to my bed where you found me this morning this chair reclines back so it actually helps me with my back and all that coupled with I'm just too tired to take a bath right now so I'm just going to relax here when I'm done relaxing when I'm done relaxing then I wake up go take a bath before I can be able to put my body on the bed but yeah this is how my Friday went like I've been standing I wouldn't say I've been standing all day like I took breaks and stuff like that but I'm tired I'm exhausted but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. This is part of preparing for the baby. We gotta do what we gotta do, right? Yeah, so I'm going to end this particular vlog here. Do not forget if you like it to give it a thumbs up. And yeah, if it is your first time here, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and be a part of this family. Let's await this baby together, okay? Like I said, I'll be putting out more content on the arrival of and on my preparation for this baby like in preparation not on in preparation for the coming of the baby okay everything that i'll be doing to get ready i'll be taking you all through it i'm going to i'm not feeling sleepy so i'm just going to see if i can post this video like post it tonight before i go to bed I'm almost done with the editing. I don't know, Sha. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video or vlog. Whew, bye, guys. My kitchen, as in my entire house, smells so good. It's cold outside. But I had to open this window. So that Ushin Hage Kofushi to smell. Because <laughs> the whole place is just like... There's no chimney. So the whole place is just... The whole stew thing is circulating inside here, so I just opened the window. Okay, guys, catch you later, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I love you guys so much. Mm -hmm.